Sandy here from Creative Discovery in Paint Shop Pro. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new a very warm welcome. If you want to find your way back to my videos you just need to click on the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. Now even though we don't celebrate Thanksgiving down here in Australia I know many of you do so I am going to do some Thanksgiving themed tutorials and I have called these Autumn Thanksgiving because some of them will be just autumn themed and even though we aren't even in autumn down here in Australia we're actually in spring coming into summer I will keep these all lumped together in the one area as they will be similar now there's one image you need to grab from Pixabay and this is a PNG so it has got a transparent background and there is also a zip file I have over on the website and that has a font in it and also a mask so place the mask where you keep your masks and your fonts in your font folder. Okay, then open up PaintShop Pro and we will hop into this tutorial. Here is a little preview of what we are going to be making in this tutorial. Now let's start by locating this image that you downloaded. We are going to duplicate it and then close the original. Just minimize it for the moment and then open a new transparent raster layer that is 600 by 450. Now bring up the image and copy and paste it as a new layer. We're going to resize this by 28%. Now keep the lock aspect ratio ticked and untick resize all layers and click OK. Now we're going to effects distortion effects twirl. And you're going to put 720 in the degrees and click OK. Then go to edit and repeat twirl and edit and repeat twirl again. Now go to your Gaussian blur and put in a radius of 2. Now we're going to apply noise and we're going to use the settings of Gaussian 25 in the percent and keep monochrome ticked click OK. Now we're going to sharpen that just once. Right click on raster 2, go to properties and then lower the opacity to 70 and click OK. Now we're going to place two colors into our foreground and background box and we're choosing them from here. I have chosen a yellow and it doesn't matter which box you place these into and I have also chosen a brown. The color for the yellow is F88D11 and the brown color is 5C4231. Now with those colors in add a new raster layer and flood fill that layer with the yellow. This is going to be our mask color. Now we're going to go to load mask from disk and the mask that I have chosen to use for this tutorial is Oak Leaf. The settings are Source, Luminance, Fit to Canvas. We do have to invert this. Have Hide All Mask selected and click Load. Merge that layer group. And now we will apply a drop shadow. Place one in the vertical and the horizontal. In the opacity place 100. In the blur have two and the color will be black. and then click OK. Now right click on the top of your image and paste as a new layer. You should still have the suitcase in memory. Now we're going to resize this time by 23%. Still with the lock aspect ratio ticked and resize all layers unticked. Click OK. This time sharpen it. Grab your move tool and place it down towards the bottom or wherever you would like to place it. But you need to place it somewhere so you've got room for text if you're going to add text as I am. Apply a drop shadow to this one. And this drop shadow will be 5 in the vertical and the horizontal. The opacity will be 50. And the blur will be 5. And the color is black. Click OK. Click on your text tool. And the font I have used is called the Naughty Gal. I have used a size of 150 
in pixels now for the colors I'll leave those for the moment I'll come back to that so align it in the center and the text flow this way anti alias sharp I have used the stroke with the three and create as vector now I have the brown in the foreground box so that will be your stroke color now you can leave it as the yellow if you wish but I have actually used the foreground background gradient so locate your foreground background and place the angle on 45 and the repeats on 5. I have also got this invert ticked but that won't make a lot of difference it'll just invert the colors. Now click somewhere in your image and write your text. I am going to write the words thank you and then click your apply changes grab the center of it move it where you want it to be stretch it now when you're happy with that then you are going to apply an inner bevel the inner bevel I am using is number two the width is four the smoothness is 20 depth of two ambience 100 shininess 19 color is white angle 315 intensity 35 elevation 20 and click OK now I'm going to apply a drop shadow but I'm going to lower the opacity here to 35 and I am going to change the color to the yellow and click OK. Merge all of your layers and you will have a white background and there you are a simple Thanksgiving tag and we are finished. Well, that was a short and sweet one and I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give the video a thumbs up you can also leave me a comment down below I love to hear from you and if you have joined our Facebook group please post your results over there now even though this tutorial actually has a Thanksgiving theme you don't have to do Thanksgiving so if you would like to do something else please post that over on the Facebook group as well there is a link to the Facebook group up the top on the banner if you aren't in our Facebook group. We would love to see you there. Okay, well have fun with this and I will see you later. Bye.